Hi everyone, this is Menz here. I'm playing the Tier 9 German Heavy Tank E75 on Airfield. Now, Tier 10 match, so the armor is still pretty good. E75 is mainly about the armor and the hard-hitting gun. So I'm going to go up into the Northern DE line section. If the E75 didn't have, or if I was in a tank, um, that didn't have as much armor, I would kind of hide um, in the back, kind of B0. And by hide, I mean try to stay unspotted, and I'll just use my gun to help support into the DNC line. But since the E75 does have good armor, I should be able to come soak up some shots from my team and do a bit of damage in return. Now, E75, as I kind of said, has really good armor, hard-hitting gun, but as you see here, the accuracy isn't all that great, and it does have a little bit of mobility issues going uphill, as you see here. It is really sluggish in that regard. It doesn't have a very strong engine. Now, I almost never go through that passage there, only really, because... Everyone knows it, and everyone's sitting there waiting. I have a shit ton of TDs behind me, so I'm just gonna push here a bit. See if I can't get this E100 to try to shoot me. So I always want to stay angry. I kind of figured he'd go through with heat with that. But I really wanted to get that um, in 103 out. No, oh, they kill that T71, but oh well. That is the waffle back there. Sorry, dude, but I'm trying to hide because I have low HP. I realize you had a shot on him, but I think it's a little bit more important that I stay alive. Now, that tank, I have no idea where it hit me, but that lower glacius was the E100 shot to begin with. But whatever it was, it definitely had a lot of penetration and cut right through my strong armor. That um, tank death sound, where anything blows up on the map, sounds like it's right next to you, it really annoys me. I know artillery can kind of hit me where that IS-7 is, so I'm just going to keep moving around. Don't want to stay still too much. Our team seems to be winning down there. 
here, so... Pretty much I'm just picking my spots to help my team out. Getting that FB out quickly if we don't. Now we should just be able to roll right over them. You don't always have to carry your team and do a ton of damage. Basically, when you make little mistakes like I did and take too much damage, stupid hits on. Um, it's kind of regroup, fall back, and figure out how you can help with out dying right away and then being useless. in the back and now you're all alone. But pretty good teamwork on our team's part. We didn't make too many mistakes and we slowly moved ahead and eventually picked them off to where we can just roll over them. So uh, overall, I still ended up with top 4 damage, which doesn't really seem like it with the game I had, but still a pretty good game. Um, let's see, I blocked quite a bit of damage. Um, my HP, the stuff I took isn't included in that with this new metric, but it's still a pretty good value. And still ended up making a uh, decent profit as well, being a tier nine match with a premium account. If you don't fire too many premium rounds, you still make an okay profit. But overall, E75 is a great tank. It isn't for people who like slow tanks or tanks with kind of unreliable guns, especially with that accuracy and aim time. But overall, it is a very good tier nine and its armor is very fun to play with. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, wotguru.com.